Hello, you are back. Welcome to another video of Star Stable with me, Honey Heart C. We are gonna be doing some soul writing today. This is one of the newest updates that was updated on Wednesday. I'm really excited to check this out because if you do the training, if you grind it out, if you do it, there is a free horse that you can actually win by the end of all the training. So I'm really excited for this. So let's get started. So we should go on up here to the paddock. Let's see here. We are supposed to talk to Rhiannon. There she is, right here. Hey. Hi, Agata. How's your horse doing? Great. He's one of the new knob strippers. Oh, here comes Alex. Hey, guys. What's up? Ugh. Guess who just dealt with the Pandoric Rift close to the North Link? Pandoric Rift Zero. Alex Cloudmail One, suckers. Wait, what? what is she talking about? I sent Alex on a soul riding mission. Soon you will know exactly what's going on. There's always something threatening this world, honey. Whether it's Pandora, Dark Core, or even Darker Matters. Being part of the Soul Riders is to push back against the darkness whenever it rears its head. Yes, uh, In my loyal network of rodents, they have been disturbed by a swirl of pink energy that appeared above the mountains at the North Link. Oh, look how cute his little pet is! That's an adorable little rodent! Yes, Lucian. I will pay you back for the acorns that you lost to the Pandoric Rift. Point is, we need a soul rider to deal with the immediate threat. So, Rhiannon has sent for Alex and Tin Can to deal with it. Yeah, I know, and deal with it we did. We got that pink portal pretty good. One of the Shadow Seekers almost bit my horse's tail off. <sighs> All you have to do is just hit it with a lot of lightning. Like, a lot. Honey, you have to help me with this. You need some training so we can finally take care of the negative energy around here once and for all. That is right. Honey has already had a large impact here on the island with the Soul Riders, but she needs much training. All right, let's put together some basic training before I let you two attempt anything dangerous. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes. <gasps> Look at, here it is. Here's the new free horse that you can win. Oh, oh, they're just so dreamy. Look at that sooty coat and that marking. Oh, I'm in love. I see you've taken interest in the Rune Runner horse. This specially trained star breeds are ridden by the wild wardens of the North. If you are diligent enough, one such horse will be given to you. But first you must prove yourself. Yes, I will prove myself. I will prove myself. I will do anything to get this gorgeous horse. Nice markings. Can I shave you like that, Tin Can? So should we get training? Come back here each day, prove yourself, and I'll feel safe sending you out on missions. Okay, this is where I claim my reward. Mastering soul riding with Rhiannon will take a long time, but in the end, a special horse will be given to you. Prove yourself to unlock the missions. All right, so this is something you do have to train daily for. So let's see what the first daily mission is. Avoid the shadows. For this exercise, I will call the illusion of the shadow seekers. Oh no, from the edge between the worlds, you must avoid them until time is up. <gasps> do not like, oh no, there's another one coming at me. Okay, all of these soul training, I always find a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of proving myself in order to get this freebie horse. Oh no, oh no, oh no, which way do I go? Oh, go this way. <gasps> no, it's coming right at us. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'm gonna fail. Boom, failed. You failed this training activity. I'm telling you, these are difficult. Oh, but it would be so good at the end of all this to win that free horse. I wonder exactly how long it's going to take. Like, is this like something that's gonna take like a week, a couple days, an hour, a month? Some of these star stable quests can take forever. Oh no, it's coming right at us again. Oh no, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, 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 we failed it. Oh, we failed it. Come on, it's over, it's over, it's over. Yes, is it over? I did it. Yes, you completed your first task. Oh no, the red beam training. I am so not good at this carousel. Oh, I already failed. This red beam, I think it's easier to be at a trot? A canter maybe? Let's try being, let's try being at a canter. You don't wanna go too fast. I struggle with this with my draft horses. Anytime I use my drafter horses, my heavy breeds. Oh no, the red beam, it got me already. These are so difficult. Okay, I think this is keeping a pretty good pace. So nice little canter here. You don't wanna to touch the red beam. You don't wanna to touch the bars. I wonder if all the training is gonna be the same every single day, like if the same training is tomorrow or if it's different. I think I need to slow down a bit. I don't wanna be like right up behind the red bar. Oh, I think I'm getting the hang of it. <gasps> don't get out of the circle though. See, I'm getting like too close to the red bar. Oh, careful. Oh, it's almost over. Please be over, please be over. Yes, it's over. All right, switch lanes. This one I do like. I do like the little circles. Change. Oh, don't get out of lines. Don't get out of bounds. To the small circle. Oh, yes, it's over. Oh, cool, and you get an XP too. So party spot has gone up. All right, so that's all the training. So let's go over here to redeem. Claim the gloves. Sweet. 
<gasps> Thank you. All right, the next reward looks like the lore book. We can check out these really sweet gloves. They're actually called the Northern Druid Gloves, part of Rhiannon's soul riding set inspired by the field uniforms of the Druid Wardens in Jorvik's Northern Frontiers. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, there's no more training and I don't have a mission. So I don't have any other missions to do and that was the only training I had until tomorrow. Now we get to go check out the really special, absolutely gorgeous horses. Oh, guys, I'm so in love with this horse right here, especially since it's like on the north Swedish body? Oh, she's so be- Oh, look at the- Oh, look at the reputation you have to have. Oh, that's so crazy. You will be mine. She's so gorgeous. And now we're gonna go head over to Gary's to see the brand new color-changing horses. Here we have the new color-changing horses. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. Star Stable does such a good job at creating these color changers. All right, so we've got this absolutely stunning one right here who has like a mane that is like lit up on fire. Lunar cycles on Jorvik are an enigma, but on the special occasion that a new moon brings darkness to the land, the inky unlit night lures out a graceful horse known as Umbra. Preferring to stick to the shadows of the thick forest, Umbra has a body temperature much higher than other horses and is always eager to break into a gallop, racing after the stars in the night sky. These magical horses used to sulk around the far side of the moon in until one day the fires caught its curiosity. The mythical horse fell from the moon into the bubbling volcano setting its mane ablaze. And that to this day they gaze longingly at the moon that they can never return to. Oh, So that's really cool about this horse. Sad that they can never return back to the moon. Star Sable should create like an out of this world world. That would be awesome. So we're gonna purchase him by horse. He's 950 star coins. Orange tail, night lily, posh pixel, space Fire. Okay, space fire. He's in, he's in. Of course you can pick up the matching pet that goes with him. So we've got a little tiny kitty cat right here. Oh, look at how cute. The cat looks so cute. Ember, the enchantment cat. This mischievous feline enjoys sneaking up and startling others <laughs> with their stealthy motions. Folklore claims that they arose from the darkness when the magical Umbra tumbled from the far side of the moon. All right, so we definitely have to pick up this little fire moon cat. Pay with star coins. Then we have this gorgeous girl over here. Oh, look at how beautiful. <gasps> you guys, seriously, they're so pretty. Lunar cycles on Jorvik are an enigma, but the special occasion that a full moon beams down on the land, the illuminating glow draws out a graceful horse, solitary by nature, or sticks to the untamed wilderness of northern Jorvik and beyond, seeking the brilliant northern lights that sway across the sky in a multitude of blues, pinks, and purples. She's very magical. Despite her shy demeanor, she is fiercely protective of people and animals they bond with, perhaps to a fault. Expect some jealousy in your stable if you decide to take home this beauty. Yeah, because she's so gorgeous. Legend claims that a radiant magical horse used to circle the ring of light around the moon, watching over the people of Jorvik until one day, the being lit to earth to save their dear friend who had fallen into the fires. It is said that mystical creatures still seeking to find their lost friend. <gasps> Like other magical horses, she won't show her true colors in populated areas. Okay, we are definitely buying her too. Flash Bee, Air Cloud, Day Wish, Moon Angel. Okay, all right, she's gone. Now we can pick up the little companion animal, which is laying down right here. Let's take a closer look. They look like they're having just such a good time. Look at how cute, it's like a little fox. It's a tiny little fox with a moon. All right, we'll definitely pick up this one, the moon lit magic fox. Fae like by nature, this fox is drawn to all things glowy and and shimmery. As a force born from light, legends say that they emerge from the moonbeams as the magic descended to Jorvik to rescue their friend. Yes, pay with star coins. All right, so those are all the new mystical, magical creatures. Now we need to go and check them out. <gasps> there they are, they're already out. Oh, please, we need to check on them right now. Yes, look at how beautiful they are. Okay, I think these are the most magical horses that Star Stable has created. They are like a fantasy dream. Okay, here's Spacefire with all of his beautiful markings on him. He's got like fiery red eyes. That mane and tail on him are incredible. He's got like a little sun pattern burned right here on his neck. And then he's got these little two moons right on his hindquarters. And then Moon Angel, I mean, she just has a big giant angel wing on her back. And then look at that braided mane. 
And the little details, oh, she also has like a little moon too for where her star is. Yeah, these are the most magical horses. Oh, look at them. Oh, oh, she even has like little moons on her legs, like little eclipsing moons. And he's got little galaxy stars. Oh, guys, I am so crazy about these horses. Okay, let's take Moonfire out. Oh, he's so pretty. So here we are out. I'm so in love with him. I'm in love with everything about him. He's just really cool. I love his mane. It's literally glowing. I mean, he has a glowy, fiery mane. Now we're gonna see what he looks like as a color changer. So, oh, he's already color changing. He's already color changing. Oh, there we go. He's like an ash color. Are those like little dapples on him? Yeah, he kind of has, oh, he's color changing. No, wait, don't color change. Wait, 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 I'm still looking at you. He wants to color change. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to show what he looks like. I mean, you can still see the moon pattern on him and the little sun etched into his neck. His mane and tail are still like lit up, but right on the tips. So they're still fiery hot. All right, let's have him color change again. Oh, there we go. He's gonna color change. There we go. Now he color changed back into a space galaxy horse. Horse. This is an amazing horse. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, that mane. Yeah, I love him. Oh, wait, we need to check out the little space pet that goes with him. Oh, the ember enchantment cat. Wow, purple moon, who is just as gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Boop. We can have him ride alongside too. Oh, the cat has like a fiery tail. Wait a minute, let's check this out. Oh, so cute. Look at the tiny little pattern like above their paws, that fiery hot tail, the fiery hot ear tips. Oh, oh, the stretching, the stretching, oh. Okay, they're really cool. These are so cool. If you can, you guys, I think you will not be disappointed if you get any of these. Let's hop back up. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to ride this horse with a saddle. It was a little bit hot on my butt to ride him bareback. All right, Moon Angel, it is your turn. Let's see her light up all of Jorvik with her glowing beauty. There she is. I mean, really, these like glow. I wonder how they look at night. I wonder if they kind of have like a little bit of like a luminescence about them. Big giant angel wing pattern right on her back. And then of course the colors of her mane. I mean, she's just so pretty. And I love that they gave us like this really beautiful like braided Andalusian style. I have not put this style on any of my horses yet. So I am so thrilled to be checking it out now. It looks really great. All right, let's see what she looks like as a color changer. Come on girl, color change. We're getting close to town. There we go. She's gonna color change. She's, oh, there we go. Oh, she's like a gray moon color. Yes. And you can also see her beautiful dapples. Oh, and like her little angel wing pattern kind of lightened up and kind of disguised a little little bit more. You can actually only see it right there on her hindquarters a little bit on the top portion. That's it. Wow. Oh, I'm so impressed with these. All right, let's hop down and let's get out her little pet. And her pet is the moonlit fox. Moon magic. Wow. Oh, he's really sweet. It's kind of like a little sleepy fox. I actually don't own any of the foxes from Star Stable. So this one's really cute. I love how it's like little paws dangle down from the bag. All right, let's go for a ride together. Oh, that's so cute. And have it hop out of the bag. There we go. Come on. Oh, look at how it runs along. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, did you hear that little fox sound? Yes, you're so cute. Oh, it's playful. It's playful. It's kind of, ch it's chasing its tail. So it also has like a little pattern on it too, like a little glowy pattern, a little crescent moon on its head and its tail also has like beautiful ombre coloring going on. These are so wonderful. What a beauty. These horses are so cool, especially with their like little matching companion animals. Oh, color changing again. Whoop, there we go. Color change. These are certainly some of the most magical horses that I have seen from Star Stable. I love whenever they come out with color changers. What do you guys think about them? Leave me your your thoughts below. I love reading your comments. Thank you for always posting the sweetest comments to you guys. Hugs and hearts to you. I hope you're relaxing and doing something that makes you really happy today. Today is the only day that we are ever going to have that is just like today. And when it's gone, it's gone. So every single day is a gift to be treasured. Keep being awesome. Keep being horse crazy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, that's so cute. It's playing underneath Moon Angel. Oh, oh. She's kind of stepping on it a little bit. Moon Angel, please be careful. There we go. <gasps> Bye, you guys. Bonus footage. Welcome to Small Stable. No longer Star Stable. In an effort to reduce our carbon footprint, all of Jorvik's horses have been shrunk to a convenient and eco-friendly size. We hope this effort will please our environmentally conscious players and provide an exciting new gameplay as miniature horses. tiny I got shrunk. Wait, are those my reins dragging on the ground? This is so crazy. How are we supposed to do any races now like as teeny tiny like little minis? I'm like the size of a Shopkins. This is so cute. Look at it.
Oh, whoa, that's like a power jump though. Look at that jump. Where are other riders at? I need to go find other people. Spacefire is actually running very fast considering we are both miniature in size. I mean, look at this. Look at us next to the size of a cow. We're absolutely tiny. I can go underneath the cow. Excuse me. This is so crazy to be absolutely this tiny. Oh, there's another person over there. Excuse me, cow. Jump. Oh, oh, you can just like barely go over there. Wait, they're like normal size. They're normal size and I'm small. Wait, wait, come back. Look at this. I'm a tiny mini, <laughs> but I'm able to keep up with them. Oh, jump. Oh, kind of. Wait, come on. Keep up. This is so funny. I can actually like hide in the bushes now and I don't know if anyone would know that I'm there. Come on, catch up. Oh, I have to be careful. I don't want them to run me over though. Oh, <gasps> don't run me over. Oh, don't run me over. Oh. We almost got ran over. This is so wild. Can I do any of these races? I can do any of these races like super tiny. We're going. Okay, good thing the arrow can detect that I'm actually doing the race. I'm like, seriously, we're like flying at super speed. I look like a little grasshopper. That's how like powerful this jump is. This is so fun. Someone says, can you see me as tiny? Or do I look normal? You look normal, I'm tiny. I wish we could all see each other as tiny. Look at me inside of my barn. Okay, so let's make space fire get larger. Or can I just leave him like this? Maybe I can just leave him like this. Oh, <gasps> no, now I'm like giant. How am I supposed to get on him? I can't ride him, now I'm gonna crush him. All right, let's hop on party spot. Oh no, I can't shrink him. Oh, oh, now we're small. Party spot is now tiny. Okay, hop down, but careful. Careful, I get so big. Let's take sugar pepper. I'm gonna turn all my horses so tiny. Large, small. Oh, there we go. Just like I can have like a stable of like the smallest, littlest horses. This is so cute. Oh yeah, let's take Wild Runner out. We all know and love Wild Runner. Oh. Oh, we're so tiny now. Oh no, maybe this isn't such a good idea because if she escapes now, I'll never be able to get her back. All right, I better put her back in the stall. She's just way too much of a risk. Seriously, she escapes from my barn all the time. All right, make her larger. Whoop, there we go. Let's get Cookie Crush a little smaller. There we go. This is so hilarious that Star Stable did this. All right, let's go back out into the world. Let's go to Moreland. There's a brand new item in the bonus shop for Star Riders. I mean, hopefully I'll be able to get it. I mean, the lady at the window may not even see me. All right, here we are in Moreland. Oh, don't run me over. I'm really afraid of getting ran over. She's got her zony out. I mean, I'm as tiny as, like I'm smaller than these wagon shop wheels. Look, the horse could actually be riding on this saddle. That's that's honestly how small I am. Oh, I jumped into nowhere. I'm the size of a cat. It's like my horse turned into a cat. All right, let's go up to the window. Um, hello? Uh, excuse me, can I pick up my bonus item? Hello, down here? <laughs> Hello, I'm down here. Can I pick up my bonus item, please? Oh, I can hide inside. Oh, look at that. I can hide like right in here. Oh, I'm hidden inside of here. Oh, this girl pulled up to the window. Hello, can you see me? Anybody? Oh, I'll have to pick it up later. Look at this. Look at me inside of the stable. So itty bitty and tiny. Okay, here's Justin in here. Hey, Justin. He like doesn't even see me. Oh, what about Mayor Peanut? Oh, Mayor Peanut is gonna look like a giant. Oh, this is so weird down here. Now I gotta like worry about running through flowers and bushes. Oh, do not fall from the ledge. That is sure gonna kill me if I fall. All right, let's see Mayor Peanut. Yep, there he is. Hey, Mayor Peanut. Honey hearts, is that you? Yep, sure is. Look at my spotted tiny little horse. I mean, I can get lost in these flowers now. I can absolutely get lost. I'm in the flowers. So here we go. Here's what Cookie Crush should look like, but he's just way too small, way too small. Let's go down to the beach and see what it looks like in the water. Being very careful though. Don't want the current to take me away. Oh, careful, don't go too deep. Do not go too deep. So if I hop off, am I gonna be normal size? Yes, now I'm normal size. I can lounge on the beach next to my tiny little horse. It's so funny, it's so tiny. Absolutely small stable. All right, let's try to hop back on. Hop on, whoop, now I'm nice and tiny again. Oh no, now they're back to normal size in here. It like reset in my barn. All right, let's shrink him down. There we go. All right, so Space Fire has been shrunk. Can I do his chores on him? Can I groom him? I'm like grooming the air. Oh, I'm picking his feet though. I'm on the ground picking his feet. Feeding him and water. Let's hop on him and let's go try to do some of the Soul Rider training. Oh, he's gonna color change. There we go, he color changed. And the size of the mushrooms next to the free horse. She's like, what in the world? Yeah, but this horse has probably seen so many different things. This doesn't surprise her to see a tiny little mini horse. Let's do some of the training. So avoiding the shadows. Well, they shouldn't be able to see me, right? I'm really small. I'm really small. See, look at how tiny I am. They can barely see me. Oh no, don't go out of bounds. No, don't see me, don't see me. It's all going good. Lesson is almost over. Yes, it's over. Oh no, the obstacles carousel. Okay, this could be a challenge. Okay, I'm gonna have to just be really quick. Move those little legs. 
Oh, that flame bar is coming. It's coming. I gotta, I've gotta speed it up. Oh, I'm not going as fast as I would like. I wish we can go faster. Come on, come on. Come on, Space Fire. Come on. It's because my little legs. I'm going as fast as I can. Yes, it's over. Oh, this is so easy to do now that I'm a tiny horse. It's so much easier to stay in the lanes. Oh, wait. Get back in. Get back in. Oh, get all the way over there. Hurry. There we go. This tiny little donut circle. No problem. Okay, get into the large one. Oh, come on, get in. Oh, come on. It's so hard to change the lanes. Get in there. Yes, it's over. Whew, we did it. We did the training. Ooh, what about if I did some show jumping? Hopefully I'll be able to jump. This is a big jump. This is a really big one. Oh, no, I can barely, I can't even make it over. Oh, we've taken a dangerous fall. Careful, I'll have to avoid the three ones then. All right, I should be able to maybe handle a two jump. Ugh. Barely. All right, what about a one jump? Oh, yes, I could. I can do the one pull and ugh, just barely do the two pulls. This is quite a workout for my horse today. Oh no, then the last one. I'll just have to jump in front of it. See, I did it. Boop. Oh no, it's so dangerous for him though. Woo, we did it. Oh, what if I took my cat out? Where's my cat? Oh, the cat is the same size as the horse. The cat did not get shrunk. That's so cool. So it can now like chase after us. Oh, that's so funny. I love this. This is so cute. Oh, we better avoid the circus. If Yurtis sees us, he will definitely want to capture us and make us be a permanent part of his circus. He loves stuff like this. Oh, the cat is stretching. This has been so awesome. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost around here. I love being a teeny tiny little mini horse. This was really cool that Star Sable added this in. I wish this could be a permanent feature to always have all this cool, fun little April Fool stuff. <gasps> Don't fall off the cliff. So I hope you guys enjoyed too, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, look, we're all just hiding right here.